Hey, it's Ben here, and in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we rotate an image frame without actually rotating the image itself. So the first thing we're going to do here is just actually go to File and Place, and we're going to grab this image to place in our document. So once we get the image, we're going to left click and hold, drag that out, and with the selection tool, we can obviously move this around. We can reframe the image and we'll just kind of frame it down so it's a little bit smaller to the frame itself. And then if we rotate this now by grabbing the edges here, so just coming a little bit away from that blue edge, then it's going to rotate that whole frame. So essentially we're rotating that whole frame and the image inside it, not just the frame. So we're going to have a look at a couple of different ways of doing this. So if you come up to the options toolbar up at the top here. If you don't see this, then just go to window and show the control options there. Uh, and up here you can see the angle by which we've rotated things. We can just reset that to zero. And now what we want to do is rotate it. Okay. And then if we click in the middle circle here, we can then come to that angle. So it's basically rotated the whole frame by this 24.25 degrees and we can click in the middle here and set that to zero and it will rotate that back. Obviously we've got a little bit of clipping on the right hand side there where we're missing the edge of that so I'm going to hold down shift to keep things proportional and then we can move things around within that frame. So we can rotate the box and then kind of reset the rotation of the object inside it um, by clicking on that circle in the middle. So you can see the difference is here I'm selecting the blue frame, so the whole image, and then here I'm selecting just the image within, within the frame. So let's just move this to one side. Here we'll deselect it and then we're going to go to File and Place and this time we're going to do it a different way. So we'll just drag this out. We'll do the same trimming down of our image here. And then what we're going to do is jump to the direct selection tool, which is the second arrow tool down. And once we've got that selected, you'll notice the selection of the frame changes. So we lose those four kind of white boxes at the edge, and we just get four uh, smaller blue boxes. So what we're going to do now is come up to our angle here, and we're just going to select an angle from here. And you'll see now when we make that change, it's basically changing the angle of the frame, but not the content within it. So let's just undo that. We can also place our cursor in here where it's a zero and just keep rotating it. And that will allow us to rotate it as well. Okay, so we've got a nice level of control over being able to rotate the box, the frame, um, and not the image itself as well. Now, obviously with these frames, I'm just going to go back to my selection tool. We can make a copy of this. I'll paste this on. And with the direct selection tool, we can also select these edges and then come to the toolbar. We'll come to the free transform tool here. I'm going to change to the rotate tool. And you can see here now when I rotate, basically it's rotating that directly selected box with this kind of freeform option rather than the image within it. So basically the direct selection tool is the key to being able to rotate the frame and not the image within it um, or vice versa. And then also we have the option to kind of select the image using those two circles right in the middle. So this is a little answer to a question I had on one of my previous tutorials about how do we rotate the frame and not the image. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions about InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, then do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.